Um, today we're going to be doing some more basic missions. I'll try and finish as many as I can in the 10-minute period that YouTube gives me. Um, yeah, speaking of that, does anyone have an old account of YouTube that can do more than 10 minutes? Because if you do, let me know because I'm sick and tired of this 10-minute thing. And uh, everyone always says that their uploads take forever. Mine always take like a minute max. So, uh, so when you guys tell me, that's the question of the day. I know I sound like sexy Phil, but do you guys like... Uh, does it take a long time to upload videos? Because every time I talk to somebody, they always say, Well, I'm uploading a video, so you might have to give me three hours. And I'm like, what? How long is the video? And they say, like, two minutes. And I'll be, I'll be like, I don't understand. So, yeah, it only takes me about a minute to upload all my videos. My seven-minute video took, like, three minutes. So, I don't know what that's about, because it was HD, too. I don't know, guys. Make sure you make, put your videos in FLV files. That's what I do. They go up so fast. But, uh, yeah, so let's do number four. An email script has been set up, which sends the password to the administrator. Requirement, HTML knowledge, I got that, and an email address. Who doesn't have that? Alright. This time Sam hard-coded the password into the script. However, the password is long and complex, and Sam is often forgetful. What a noob. So we wrote a script that would email his password to him automatically in case he forgot. Here is the script. Okay, so send password to Sam. Here's an advertisement for FedEx. Alright, um... Let's give you the paid source, because that button is definitely linked to an email. Yep. Yeah, webmaster at hullablue.com. That's where it's going to be sent to. Okay. Um, when you click the button, you see right here, it's a button. Input. Send password to Sam. Okay, so what we're going to do is, we're going to change that. And if you guys don't have Firebug already, pause the video and go download it so you know what I'm doing. Firebug. All right, let's see. Let's, uh... Let's open up the head, oh no, not the heading, let's open up the body. And let's see. Where is this? Um, yep, here it is. You gotta keep on click, hold the mouse over the div, div button and you can check exactly where you're, where you're trying to look. Alright, so this is the table of it, apparently. Um, let's go down further. What is this? Nope, wrong one. Yep, here we go. You, know, you have to keep on like getting closer and closer. Yep, is that, is that everything? Hold on. Yep, down here. Center. Okay, let's see. Let's try and change something here. Um, let's keep on going down. It's, oh, there's a lot of files you gotta look through here. Um, oh, that's no, it's one more down, I think. Right, uh, right here. Um, here's this post form to webmaster at hullabaloo.com. We're going to change that to h.point.c. It's, I just have, I'm going to send mine in. Mine's hacker at live.com. I'm going to change that right there. So now, when I click send, here, let me, let me open my password up, or my email. h.a.c.k.3.r at live.com. Please don't spam me. Have my password, which I'm not going to say out loud. Yep. Oh. There's a lot of passwords. Never use the same password, guys. Uh, I know a lot of people use the same password. You're an idiot. Uh, you're going to get hacked. Alright, now I opened it up. Wow, I have tons of spam. Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, so now that you've changed that, we'll click send password to Sam. Oh, oh I don't even have my email. Look at that. Um, okay. That's nice. I guess they just know you know what you're doing. Um, well, I guess we'll click back. All right, now let's just click paste and submit. And I just beat mission number four. Okay, now we're on to basic five. Similar to the previous challenge, but with some extra security security measures in place. Requirements: HTML knowledge, JavaScript, or FF, and email address. All right, this seems easier. Um, let's see the source, like always. What is this? What is this? Oops. Close that up. Um, let's look. And I said we're going to use JavaScript, so I don't think we're going to have to even look at this right here, because JavaScript is completely different. Um, let's close out of this. But, so let's see. Um, if we're going to do JavaScript, we're probably going to have to do, uh, make a change, so that we, alright, so we're going to do JavaScript, we're going to do alert. And if we, well, the reason we're doing alert is so that we know we made a change, because if we don't have the, the change, then it won't work. So we're going to do documents, uh, documents, forms, 
zero or document form yeah I think it's that I'm not sure I'm, I'm not really good at JavaScript and then two value equals open parentheses open quotation marks type in your email I'm hacker be awesome email and spam it and sign up for any shit with it all right uh here, let me, let me let me make this a little bit smaller so you guys can all see it all at one screen. There it is. I'll put it in. I oh know. I'll make I'll cut it. I'll put it in the address bar or whatever. So we're gonna type this into. I'll put it in the description. Okay. Page says. All right. There we go. That's good. Now we're gonna click send password to Sam. Oh, doesn't even go to our email. We just get it right there. Okay. That's even nice. So you guess you don't have to even do anything. It's all this. You can use mine. Let's see if we actually got the email though. That'd be pretty interesting. I forgot we had this open. Oh, we didn't get the email. That's pretty dumb. But whatever. It's here. Paste, submit, and let's see if it worked. We completed basic number five. Next challenge, please. Well, let's go back to the basic missions actually and look at the read it. Um, and an encryption system has been set up, which uses an unknown algorithm to change the test given. Requirements, persistence, some general cryptology knowledge. Hmm. What that could mean? You recovered his encrypted password. It is that. Um, oh yeah, let's, let's actually read this out. Network Security Sam has encrypted his password. The encryption system is publicly available and can be accessed with this form. Please enter a string have it encrypted. Um, so let's type in this. We got B28 question mark JKCB. Hmm. Let me open up a new tab. We're going to do in a C table. That's what I think we're looking at here because that's the kind of encryption that kind of stuff is. It's, they're not dealing with like MD5 hashes. It's, like, it's the same length. I'm almost positive. And they both start with B. So you're doing something. Um, oh, here we go. So this is what we're going to be looking at here. Um, we started with this. And then we ended up with that okay so same length here as you can see um now we're gonna look for now we're gonna look for some kind of pattern um we started out with b and we went yeah we started up with b and we went to b so we went nowhere so we'll put zero and we went from one to two well that i can just tell you that can be one 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 space movement one to two yeah one and then six to eight will be two. All right, so now we have open. We have this open symbol, greater, less than, and it goes down to question. Yeah, question mark is three. So we're gonna go three, four, five, six, seven. That's probably gonna be. We'll check in a second. Um, yeah, I said it was a basic encryption. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, from B, we're gonna have to go up zero. B, from one, we're gonna have to go up one. We zero. 6, we'll have to go up 2, will be 4. Um, open, this thing will be up 3, we'll have 9. Uh, F, we'll have to go up, uh, was it 4? And then next will be F also, so we'll get both of those. Lowercase F, make sure you have to have lowercase, so 1, 2, 3, 4, so it'll be B, this one, this one will be A, because it's the same F. Equals, we're going to have to go up, uh, what is it, 6? Let's find equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then semicolon, we'll go up, what is it, 7? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We get 4. Let's copy that code. That looks like a right code to me. I mean, I don't know how you have a wrong code, but... This is how basic encryption has worked. You see, you work backwards. So let's just, hopefully this works. It might not. Oh, we got an incorrect password. Hmm. Let's go back. F to J. F to J. It looks like it's gonna work. Hold on. Um. Did I copy this correctly? Yes, I did. Um. Why am I at two? We if we go two, we should be. Uh, let's paste this again. Let's look at this. Up one. Up two. Up three from that one. That might be wrong. One, two, three, nine. That's right, actually. F up four. One, two, three, four. B, A. 
And then we've got the equal symbol, which is going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We get 7, and we got to go to semicolon, which goes up 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, wait, 7, 4. Hmm. Uh, see, it gives us the same thing, which is kind of weird. Let's try this one more time. Oh, 